People might remember that I'd gone on record multiple times calling Modula He-Man's shittiest adversary, and even though his second appearance in Happy Birthday Roboto wasn't awful, it was mostly excused because I liked Roboto so much as a character. However, on She-Ra, Modulok eventually became a recurring character, and today I'm taking a look at both his first and also what I consider to be his best appearance, Gateway to Trouble and Black Snow. And let's start with Gateway to Trouble. The episode begins with Skeletor, now apparently having hired Modulok, having him create a gateway machine in order to send an army to Etheria. However, Modulok apparently then remembers that he hates Skelly, takes off into the Fright Zone with the intent of selling the gateway machine to Hordak, and strands Skelly on Etheria, where just by chance he runs into He-Man and She-Ra. Skelly also lies about forming a temporary truce with the heroes, but bails on them pretty quick. This episode actually is a huge upgrade to Modulok's character, just from the point of view of how he jilts Skelly already at the start and asserts himself. Not only that, Modulok basically switches from working for Skeletor to working for the Horde, which he continues to do in further episodes, ironically making him one of the few Season 2 He-Man characters to have something resembling a story arc. Also, I actually respect Modulok just basically giving Skelly the big f*** you at the start, whereas all his other henchmen are usually complete pushovers. However, I am a little puzzled by why Tongue Lashor is just casually hanging out with Skelly, since in most other Shira episodes he's a full-blown Horde trooper. I mean, he even has the Horde insignia on him. Now, this opening scene's awesomeness aside, it's actually a pretty standard Shira episode, of course with another He-Man cameo, but I wouldn't say excellent. It does have cool action moments. I love how Skeletor is a dick to the Twidgets. I don't want any Spoo. I hate Spoo. I don't even know what Spoo is. And there are some very funny insults flung between him and Hordak. So, not an outstanding episode, but definitely memorable. By comparison, however, Black Snow is a much better episode, where we actually get to see Frost's domain and people. The episode deals with our people being pushed into conflict by these SEAL people, maybe? Called the Selkies by Modulok, who's created a floating command station which causes Black Snow to fall, and is blaming it on Frost's people. I gotta wonder why the Snow people in this and the He-Man episode, The Region of Ice, have these weird, vaguely Nordic warrior get-ups, since I'd imagine they'd get pretty cold. This episode is also the introduction of yet another multi-limbed creature, Multibot. He's also not the brightest, and I find it funny that Modulok actually insults him at one point, since, you know, you built the idiot, it's your fault. Now, the reasons I like this episode. A. It's an episode which focuses on Frosta, who's pretty much one of my favorite supporting characters on this show, who also never gets a lot of really good appearances. In other words, Frosta is Shira Stratos. B. It's a really good episode dealing with Etheria's internal issues, something we really didn't see all that much on the show. Yes, the Selkies look really dopey, but there are some really awesome crowd scenes in this episode, especially once sh** hits the fan. And C, it's a good sheer episode where Hordak isn't the main villain for once, and the fact that Modulok is actually fairly competent for this whole episode really does make it rise to the top tier of my favorite episodes, alongside the likes of Sweet Bee's Home and Flowers for Hordak. This is an absolute must-see of an episode. And that's all from me for now. Until next time, I have the power, so can you. We have the power.